second. On one side, Azerbaijan showed his determination to work on a format comprised of six countries, which has been directly articulated by Ilham Aliyev, and Azerbaijan showed his willingness for uh, initiating and realization of the projects for the regional development, and more importantly, Azerbaijan has uh, made a proposal to Armenia, and Azerbaijan has proposed a comprehensive peace agreement, so at the end of the day, Azerbaijan is the a uh, glorious country and uh, still propose let's undersign a comprehensive peace agreement so that we will not have any conflicts whatsoever but let's take a look to the aggressor stands just after the ceasefire agreement uh, certain uh, Ar Ar Armenian uh, soldiers have been I infiltrated to the Azerbaijani lands and they have attacked on our brotherly soldiers because uh, we are uh, one nation, two states, and the Azerbaijani soldiers are our soldiers as well. And uh, we cannot, uh, uh, I mean, even uh, define uh, those soldiers being uh, captured uh, by uh, the Azerbaijan as the war prisoners because what they did was a terror attack. And again, a similar provocations have been going on at the border uh, by Armenia. So in an other saying, uh, Armenian uh, soldiers are attacking on our brothers, uh, on Azerbaijani soldiers. So there are huge differences in terms of the stances of those uh, countries. But Armenia should understand that those attacks uh, will not serve to anything. So uh, as they couldn't yield any result in the past, they will not be able to yield any result whatsoever in the future. So rather than opting for such kind of uh, provocations, as uh, His Excellency uh, President uh, has stated, we want to open a new page. We want to normalize our relations. 